What's going on guys? It is coilover install day. They're lengthened and adjusted, got the new springs on it as you saw in the previous video. So let's throw these back on and let's test fit some wheels, see how they go. So we've got the suspension fully back bolted in. I still have to uh, put the little the lines inside of the little holder for the coilovers. But now we're gonna put the tire on. And the tire that I have is a BMW OEM tire. No surprise, style 44. And this one, if I'm correct, is a 225 55 17. You can see it right there. And what was on the car is a 225-45-18, I believe. But according to my math, this one is, this tire is a little bit taller. Now, I may need to play with the tire sizes a little bit more. But what I'm going for is a taller, higher up, kind of rally-like. And this scrap tire is a good way for me to test to see if the sizing will work, if there's any rubber. Also, this rim is also wider and it's barely any clearance when it comes to the coilover. So I've got these, I want to say it's a 7 mil. These are not hub centric spacers. So this is just for mock-up purposes, even though I have ran them in the back before. But the fitment was so good and it was so close. When I had kids in the back, it would rub a little bit. So that's kind of a downside to it. But we're going to use these to space each side out just a little bit see what happens let's throw it on and see what we get and these tires are pretty much are done won't be really driving on these tires again it's for fitment purposes to see how good a fitment is it too wide is it too narrow and what I'm gonna do the website that I use to calculate tire size and all that good stuff is tiresize.com pretty simple actually and there are comparisons to what size tires that you want to go to from 17 to 18 you can check how wide it is how tall it is how many revs per minute there is just all of that and it's a very valuable tool just want to let you guys know but anyway let's go ahead and try this out So truth be told, I probably need to go with a skinnier tire because you got the rim here and it comes out. It's further than the actual rim itself. So maybe a more narrow tire will do better than this wider one here. But what I'm interested in is how does it sit when I set it on the ground? 
how much height did I gain from these coilovers and adjusting it? Let's find out. And here it is, guys. Ooh, look at that. Look at that gap that we've got now. Several fingers worth of gap right there. Sits a whole lot higher up than it does in the rear, which is perfectly fine. Can't really see, that's the problem with black wheels. But you got plenty of gap here, and as you see in the back, no gap whatsoever. So what I'm gonna have to do with the back is I'm gonna have to do some kind of troubleshooting and we will try the stock springs and see how that does. And I still got the 8K springs that I can use with those little uh, adjuster spacers or whatever, where I can adjust it up or down or whatever to raise or lower the back of the car. But I definitely need to raise the car. And as you guys can see, or probably not see, further back here, don't have a whole bunch of space. So I may need to go from like, um, this size here, which is a 225.55, I may need to go to like a 215.65 or something like that, which is a narrower tire. But even though it's narrower, it's a little bit taller than these. I can kind of fill it out just a tad bit more and add a slightly bigger spacer to kind of space it out from the coilover. But overall, man, overall, that's a, that's a freaking good looking car to be honest with you. Well, there you have it, guys. Just a little update on the suspension and what I'm doing with the car for the most part. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down, but at least tell me how I can improve my content. And we've got so much more things that needs to happen to this BMW that you guys might have thought I forgot about, but I have not. And also more work that still needs to be done on this Mercedes-Benz. So if you're new, consider subscribing, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.